Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do um, the natural hair products that I use for my hair. I wish I could have like my style, like my hair out more. But then because I um, still am recovering from my, um, I didn't, I said it in the, in the first video, I'm sort of like recording two videos in one in one day so um yeah that's why I, I i did i recorded my why i went natural and then i want to show you guys the hair products i said it in that video that my hair wasn't didn't come out the twist out didn't come out in the way that i wanted it to come out you guys know the drift so i'll show you that later in maybe a styling video or something later or you guys are gonna see my hair in just another another video to come but anyway I'm going to go right ahead without wasting any time because I have the tendency to rumble. So without it wasting any time, I'm going to go right in and show you guys the products that I use for my natural hair. And my favorite brand of natural hair, this is almost done actually, like both of them. My favorite brand of natural hair products is ORC. Like since going natural, like I've always used something ORC. For example, I'll start with that then. Like for my shampoo, I um, have been using lately, not this, about six, seven months now I've been using that because they started providing it in our boots where I live. Usually because I live in, in Belfast, we don't get a lot of um, black hair products because there's not that, there wasn't, there never used to be that much people in, but they've started coming now. So I guess... It's because a lot of black people are like have come to Belfast as well. But anyway, ORC is the brand that I really, really love. And this is just um, rosemary and coconut sulfate-free shampoo, gentle cleanser and detangler for, detangler for naturals. I really love this shampoo. I've been using it for like seven, six, seven months now. I absolutely, I'm in love with it. Maybe even longer, like close to a year now I've been using it. And it's just brilliant. It detangles hair. It makes it everything so much easier. Like, I love it. And it's sulfate-free, so I absolutely love it. Most of my products are ORC anyway. So that's the first thing. Um, that's the first product that I use. And then for my co um, conditioner, I use this um, berry and banana. Uh, ask, uh, is that uh, acai? Or something I don't know Aka Akai Akai berry and banana rinse out conditioner what I do when I go into the shower this is actually like a really short what um, hair routine but what I go what I do when I go into the shower is I wash my hair with that um, shampoo and then I put that conditioner on the rinse out and then I come out of the shower and I comb through and detangle with that on then i like either sit under a hair dryer like um and it like detangle like um deep condition it with heat under a hair dryer with a plastic cup on using that like if it's just like every single day like ev every sort of like twice a week i'll do that like um i'll just use that with like 10 15 minutes in the hair dryer in the hair um dryer with a plastic cup to like condition it i use the rinse out and i would just like use that and then like rinse it out obviously go back into the shower and like rinse it out and that's the the washing and conditioning done now once in a while like in a month in maybe once a month i like to use the hair mayonnaise it's also by OCR I've used that hair mayonnaise from since I became natural like it's years now maybe five six years I've been using that so um that's the hair my mayonnaise and it's ORC and I really love it I've used it for ages it if you have like a twa like a really short short hair that shines your hair like I remember when I used like have really really short hair I would like put that on and it would absolutely like sh like just look give it a healthy glow and I, I I loved it I just loved my hair when I like I used that I still love it now it always like really really 
has my hair looking nice and it's softer so I absolutely love that I can't say enough great things about it I'm like halfway done in that bottle and yeah I just love it it's like a thick consistency and like it won't fall out or anything at all it won't fall out so it's like a really thick consistency which I find easier to like apply and like take out and stuff I really like that so once a month or maybe twice a month I will use that and like deep condition my hair under the hair dryer and you guys don't always need to use a hair dryer like you can even use um, a he heated cup or even you could just sleep overnight with it you, with the deep conditioner in your hair tie a cup to it just make sure you're like generating some form of heat you it doesn't have to be like a hair dryer but I have a babyliss hair dryer and that's what I um, use so um, this is I think in my story time I burnt my hair off I have it sitting in my background because it was just the day I deep conditioned and I couldn't b be bothered moving it out of the room. If you guys want to see the hair dryer that I use, it's a babyliss one, it's white. It, it was in my background the other time that I did, I burnt my hair off. So that's that. The other thing that I, um, the other one that I really love, this is now for like twisting my hair or like moisturizing my hair. This is just like a moisturizing hair gel. So after I've like shampooed and then deep conditioned, like deep conditioned or conditioned, I'll usually like put, um, hold on, let me, let me show you the stages. I'll put the leave-in conditioner, um, which is also by ORC and it's Curls Unleashed, the range Curls Unleashed, which is my shampoo and my conditioner as well. But they also have like a leave-in conditioning um, cream and so I'll leave that in. And then on top of that, I'll add this and then I'll seal it in with um, my hair. Just any type of oil that you have. I have a spray that I don't have right here with me, but um, I'll show you guys in another video. I'm not sure where I put it. I used it yesterday and I can't, like, I can't find it. It's by Duck and Lovely and it's the sealing in nectar, if you guys know that. But I'm sure I will show you in another video when I'm styling my hair or something. So... I use those two to like leave in the conditioner and then like um, obviously do that. Um, I am so surprised that I don't have that thing right here with me because I thought I did. Anywho, maybe it might be in my drawer. I'll check now in two minutes. But anyway, so that is it. And then when I really want defined curls, this gives me it. It's dark and lovely, like my sealing in nectar. And this smells, mm, I swear to God, that smells, oops. I've used a, quite a lot as you can. It smells so, like it smells good enough to eat. Like it smells so good enough to eat. And when I want, um, it's anti-shrinkage which I don't really believe that part, but like it's um, curl defining. So when I want like my curls really, really defined, which I didn't use and that's why my hair didn't come out the way that I wanted it to come out. And that's why I couldn't wear it out today. But yeah, that's what I used to like um, define my curls and like I'll add that on or to that when I want like my curls a little bit defined. And then another deep conditioner that I use. I switch between the one I showed you guys. This is not the same leave-in conditioner I showed you guys. This is a uh, intense hair conditioner. This is what I use between, um, I switch between this and that. Also, I am, I'm almost done with that. Oops, that's just like the paper of it, like in the, let me show you guys. I'm almost done with that like there's just a tiny bit left in it and that's so I kind of like switch oops I can't close this anyway that is it so I actually switch between the two like um, the hair mayonnaise which I've used for years and it's ORC and it's still ORC but curls unleashed the curls unleashed range I like switch between the two and that's the one that I um, that's the one that I, those are the one, the two that I used. Now, as far as my natural hair goes and natural hair combing, you guys, if you want, and then there's, I have uh, coconut and honey, hair, milk, 
daily healthy hair moisturizer for naturals when I feel like my hair is a bit dry or it needs a bit extra like moisturizing or something I'll use that so that's also by curls unleashed all my products that my main like my main staple when it comes to hair is like by um ORC and it's curls unleashed so I really really like it it really works for my hair and I recommend you guys if you're looking for products to go with or try out I really recommend you trying those products out because they absolutely like work wonders for me Another thing that you guys need to have, if you are just starting out on your, on your natural hair journey, this is going to be your best friend, basically, like, um, depending on the length of your hair, of course. But um, this is the comb that I've used since, um, since I was basically, like, since I started being, nat like, on my natural, when I, um, I'll tell you guys why I didn't always, I always use this. When I had really short hair and I wanted to grow my hair back I used to stay, sit in braids like I always used to braid my hair I never styled short hair out and my braids which you shouldn't do but I would have my braids in my head for four months straight and not take it out and leave it until I can see like the braid almost falling out of my hair I do not recommend you to do this but that's what I did with my hair because I couldn't deal with it being short I didn't want to like the whole hustle of it of taking um, and in my video, like, um, why I went natural video, I've explained how bad I am at dealing with pain and the hours sitting, waiting for my hair to be done. I just don't like the whole process of getting hair done anymore. So, um, I would leave my braids in for like four, five months, sometimes straight. And that's how I transitioned. So I only started to look after my hair not that long ago because I braided like maybe three times and that was like three months at a time, four months, five months. I never had my natural hair. And when I did take the braids off, this was when I needed that because my hair had grown that much in that space of time. Another thing that I, um, that I did then was basically I, I never ever styled my hair and I think until this day you guys have seen my video my hair is always tied up I always prefer to like protect it if I'm going out to a special occasion or like on a date or something like that I will wear my wear I will wear my natural hair out and like flowing but um if I'm just going no more to work or running my errands or whatever i just tie it up i like to keep my hair like as healthy as i possibly can funny i should say that because i used to braid my hair for like four or five months at once i didn't i, I really really didn't want the whole hustle of that stuff so that's how i transitioned and still today like there are months when i'm not really feeling like doing much with my hair and in those months I will like do the minimal like I won't go through the whole process the minimal hair thing you should be doing as a natural is a detangle now my sister has been a natural for a very long time and one of the things my sister told me is if you don't want to spend time treating your hair right do not buy any hair brush do not buy the Denman brush do not buy any of that stuff because what that will do is wreck through your hair and split it up and like tear it up and that's not good for your natural hair. What I did was buy white tooth comb and that's the only comb that I have and that's the only comb that I use on my hair. Like I still keep away from the, it tangles my hair, it works fine for me. You guys should try it if it does, because hair types can be different, it might not work for you. But try it because if it does work for you, it will save you like save your life and then you don't have to buy the Denman or any of those you know or any other thing so I've just used that and I only got that from the pound store where in my area so it wasn't like that's the only comb as a natural that I have I've said this 12 times in this video but anyway I want to stress that I do not use any combs so a quick video on if you're starting out on your natural journey and you're wondering what to do and maybe you're watching this video to get an idea of like what 
um, products you should be using. Keep away from Denman brushes. Keep away from all sorts of brushes unless you want to take time to finger detangle and then use a white tooth comb and then use a Denman brush. I find that absolutely draining and I will not do it. So I only use my white tooth comb on my fingers. That's enough combs for me. Another thing, if you want to like cut through, I should probably do like a quick guide to like the lazy natural. If you want to do um, your hair, if you want to be natural, but you don't want the bother of being natural and trying out tons of products, here is what you need. You need a good um, shampoo because you'd have to wash your hair once in a while. And then you do not need, you need a good leave-in conditioner and you also need a good sealing in moisturizer. Uh, uh, sealing in oil coconut oil works great um, any sealing in oil olive oil works great anything that can seal any oil that can seal your hair it doesn't matter don't be fussy about it just try whatever you like and then whatever you pick up and you like you go with that and that will be absolutely fine I promise you so shampoo shampoo your hair the water is all the moisturizer natural hair needs. It needs water. So once you wash it, that's enough moisture. Leave-in conditioner. If you want, just literally put in a leave-in conditioner, a good natural hair leave-in conditioner, and seal that hair. Those are the three steps you really need to do. And maybe detangle as well. Like try to like detangle. If you have great hair, like easier hair to deal with, like my hair, then you can finger detangle and it will be great for a few months. You can get away with it before you actually sit down to detangle it. But if you feel like, you know what, like I'm absolutely like not bothered. You try that and like, you know, that that works fine for me. I don't spend a lot of time on my hair because I just, I can't be bothered. You guys always see my hair tied up. That's just because I really, I'm not that type of natural that wants it out all the time. It's a lot of hassle. i rather not. Oh god, I am like rambling on and on and on. But anyway, those are my natural hair products. If you guys have a question, leave it down below. If I haven't answered or covered anything in this video and you guys can remember it, can you, you can leave me a comment and ask me all the questions that you need to ask me. And yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe, like, comment and yeah, thank you for all your support. If you're a subscriber of mine, thank you for all your support and you guys give me so much love over the past two weeks that I've been on YouTube, over the past three weeks that I've been on YouTube. You guys have shown me so much love and I'm so grateful. So I hope this is helpful and yeah, thank you very much for watching again. Bye.